Okay, this is a tutorial on how to create the assembly for the train in Autodesk Inventor. Uh, we're going to go to the I, go to New. We're going to open a standard.iam. Okay, then we go to Place, and we're going to find where we saved our files. And we're going to, the first file we're going to put in is the train body. Yours may be titled different. I, I save mine as body. You can save it as whatever. Uh, we're going to open it. Yeah. And hit OK. Now you'll notice over here where it says body it's got what looks like a stick pin through it. Uh, that means that your body will not move. I'm clicking on it. I'm trying to move it. it it's what's called grounded. Uh, it will not move out of that location. So now we need to go ahead and start putting some other parts in. So we're going to start, uh, I'm going to start with the wheels. So we'll go ahead and put those in. And obviously we know we need four of them, so I'm going to go ahead and put four. Hit OK. Now to assemble this, we need to use constraints. So we're going to do go to constrain, and I'm going to use what's called insert. So I'm going to click insert, and then I'm going to select the inside the inside circle on my wheel and I'm going to place it right against the outside of my train and hit apply. Do that again for the next three wheels. And there's the wheels. Now we can put in the axle pegs. So let's go ahead and bring those in. Again, we need four of them. And again, we're going to use insert. And I'm going to select right under the head of the bolt. And it's going to go against the top of the wheel. just to kind of give you a zoom in on what I'm doing. You see how these are moving. I'm going down until I get just the bolt, which is right there. I'm zooming out, and now I'm going in on the wheel, and I'm putting it right there. Over there. And right there. Hit apply. Now we can place let's place our linkage arm next. We need two of those. Now constrain those again using insert. We're gonna put the inside And when it does that, if you hit this button here where it says aligned, it'll push it on in there for you. So we're going to do the center circle there. I'm going to go around to the other side of the train. And I'm going to put it on there. And then hit apply. Now we can place the linkage peg. We need four of those. Again, we're using insert. And we're putting it right there. Right there. one and apply. Now let's go ahead and we'll put in our cow catcher.
again we're going to use insert I'm going to select that top peg and I'm going to get as close I'm going to get all the way against the back of the cow catcher I'm going to select it and then I'm going to insert it right there hit apply now we'll have to go to the bottom of the cow catcher because you'll notice it's not quite square so I'm going to do an angle constraint a two angle between the bottom and between the cow catcher and then hit apply and that just helps square it up and make make sure that it's straight now we either need to we need to still put in our uh, stack and also our hitch magnet and hitch peg and so we came to those first I'm gonna go ahead and put them in so I'm gonna do constrain again I'm gonna do insert even though we're not technically putting anything in do insert against there hit apply insert for our peg into there and apply and now last but not least we're going to put in our stack and again we're doing insert the right grab it on the bottom there we go and apply all right so that is the <clears throat> that is the assembled train uh, now obviously we created a track so we want to put our train on the track so let's go ahead and bring our track in okay um, <clears throat> now what we're going to do is we're going to right click on the body of the train in our little menu and where it says grounded we're going to uncheck that and what we're going to do is we're going to right click on the track and we're actually going to ground the track now so now our train will move but our track will not and so we need to um, to put our our train on the track and we're going to do that using constraints so we're going to hit constrain and we're going to mate the bottom of the train to the top of our track and now we need to put in an offset and this is where you just kinda have to play play with it to see what the offset should be uh, that actually looks pretty good right there at a quarter inch and so I'm gonna hit apply and then we need to go and do an aligned between the side of the train and the side of the track and then we're going to offset it as well and it's like point let's try point five see what that does again it's just we have to play with it to see what it should be point six two five looks pretty good I'm gonna go a little bit more I think I'm gonna go to point six five uh, let's try point seven yeah point seven looks like it puts it right there in the middle of the track for us and we hit apply and then save and that is our assembly.